Hitron itself, it, it was an uh, excellent opportunity for me. Enjoyed every part of it. Uh, Stu, S T U, Dietrich, D I E T R I C K. For me, it is truly an honor, particularly uh, being selected for the program. It tells me that uh, some folks had some uh, great faith in my abilities. It's also a privilege to serve with so many great people to, that put in so many, so many hours of effort to get the program started. Key elements for Fitron. Basically, uh, skill sets for both pilots and gunners, people that had can-do attitudes, uh, who are motivated, who believed that uh, it could work. First thought ran through my mind is, uh, I can't believe it's true. Um, actually using use of force to uh, do some drug interdiction work and uh, I was ecstatic about it. Um, being a 65 guy and trying to stop somebody without any type of uh, means other than, hey, pull over, uh, didn't work too well. So um, my, my hat's off to Admiral Loy and, and uh, putting his trust in us to bring this into development and fruition. Uh, after we did gunnery and, and worked some of our tactics, we packed up and moved down to Key West and prepared for the first deployment. Challenges, basically uh, just taking our time trying to uh, learn a new aircraft. Um, however, the aircraft performed admirably for us. It was very agile, uh, it was powerful. If I recall correctly, once we got the call and uh, went through factory training and, and developed everything for the first deployment, it was approximately three to four, maybe five months. We came together very quickly. The cohesiveness of the team was apparent from the very start. Uh, everybody worked extremely well together and uh, wanted to get the mission accomplished. Adrenaline rush, of course. You know, it, it was uh, having the gunners back there ready to go. At a moment's notice, we knew we had cover from the other aircraft if you were the lead aircraft or vice versa. Of course, we had to follow rules of engagement, which uh, naturally we didn't want to use any type of uh, use of force, you know, lethal, lethal use of force anyway. My hat's off to the R&D folks for coming up with some of these ideas, but uh, they're better on paper than they were in actual use. We tried using nets to stop go fast. Uh, we had stun grenades, and then we had paintball guns that used a uh, chemical agent that would uh, incapacitate people just from the odor. Uh, I am truly amazed at what has grown into and what it has contributed to the Coast Guard as in drug interdiction capabilities.